Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for our weekly live stream from Firaxis Games. My name is Pete Murray, and today we're ready to do part two of our Let's Play with Brasilia. Um, thank you guys for joining us. I um, hope you've been following the news uh, out of FraxCon. We just released a video of Sid Meier and Jake Solomon having a chat about uh, Sid's storied career and uh, the way he makes games. Uh, that's up around the web. Check that out if you haven't had a chance to do so. It's just 15 days now until uh, Beyond Earth comes out, and we are all really, really excited here. It's going to come out on October 24th. That's a Friday. That's a worldwide release day. Everybody gets it on the same day. There's still an opportunity to pre-order and get the Exoplanets map pack if you haven't already done so. Um, that would be a, now would be a good opportunity to do so. Um, but I know you guys are here to watch us uh, Let's Play, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into our game. Now last week uh, we started playing as Brasilia. We made Planetfall. I had said going in that I was going to hope for a, a domination victory. Things didn't entirely work out the way I was hoping they would. I've kind of dropped into this near Wildlands area uh, with two alien nests, one four tiles from my city, one five tiles from my city. By the end of the live stream, I was able to get this, uh, this city up and running, uh, this, uh, this new colony going over Santo Adriao here. It's near some more resources. I'm hoping that'll become the new uh, center of my population. But right now, uh, Citadella is getting up on its feet and is ready to go. So this is more or less where we left off like last week. We're going to go ahead and click next turn. Now the general plan at this point was, uh, and, and I got asked a lot of questions about this, like, Pete, why didn't you just go and take out the alien nests? And um, the fact is, I, I guess I could have done that, but with uh, at least four wolf beetles in the nearby area, the manticores uh, and two drones nearby, I felt like if I aggravated the wildlife, it would certainly outnumber me, um, especially because this isn't a terribly high production area uh, right now. And I felt like maybe it would be better to expand a little bit and then come back and clear out those nests at some point. So again, what we're focusing on right now is expanding our second uh, settlement, getting Santo Edrial up and running. And then maybe we'll make uh, clearing out those alien nests an objective. In the meantime, the world situation is pretty much what it was last week. Uh, we've got a neighbor nearby. The Slavic Federation is settled not too far from here. That's going to lead to problems later on because they're very expansionistic. Uh, we have some other trading part. Uh, we have free land not too far away. Um, and we've got one station that would probably be a good short-term trading partner, Shackleton, up here. I've got the ultrasonic fence queued up for production in Citadella here. And now we're ready to continue. And I think at this point, we need to get this explorer back out and going. His expedition module has been restored. Uh, I have an option between letting my turn end in miasma, which I could do, but it doesn't sound like that's optimal. Uh, so instead, we'll just come down here and have him sit out a turn. Got a worker coming up. He's going to help establish some infrastructure on here. I got my two marine units. Because I haven't aggravated the aliens, I'm not super concerned about them. Um, getting under fire right away so the settlement is probably all right right now i will leave those guys fortified in that i've grabbed this initial uh, uh that's titanium that's up and ready to go so i'm in pretty good shape right now another unit needs orders you guys just fortify for a second we'll go ahead and we'll continue our turn soon. so even though these uh wolf beetles look like they're moving towards my settlement they're not really headed that way they're just kind of free roaming around the landscape Let's see, uh, okay, what I actually wanted to do is move this worker. So let's have this worker come up again. He's going to be stymied there, so we'll let that be. Okay, that explorer is free to move out. We've got all of this unexplored territory down here. Uh, might be worth checking out as well. Worker's just finished his job here, again, because the alien wildlife isn't too aggravated. We'll go ahead and we'll let him move up a little bit. Start working on the farm there. Okay, we just discovered a new base. Our new station, this is Farbase 1. A little bit like trading with another uh, major faction in that it's an energy and uh, science exchange. But uh, right now, not too much of an issue. Okay, we're going to start building some farms here. And let's see, get this guy up here, and he'll start mining that titanium. Means at least that city is going to start rolling in production when it gets up and ready to go. You can see that trading vessel going back and forth from my capital to Santo Edrao. That's helping it grow up faster, which is really good right now. Let's not double move an explorer. That seems like that would be a good thing to not do. Oh, 
Okay, there's a explorer from the American Reclamation Corporation. We need to make sure that uh, hopefully he's out of his expedition module and there isn't anything too tasty down here for him to take a look at. He's going to turn around and he's going to move back this way. A uh, little floats down down this end of things. Um, we've had somebody ask what map size and what difficulty are we playing on. We are playing on standard difficulty, which is Mercury, uh, and we're playing on a standard map size. Uh, we're using a continental map script, um, which borrows elements from the fractal map as well, I believe. And so that is, um, that's what we are set with on our world right now. It's going to be a little bit tight, especially toward endgame. So Elodie of Franco-Iberia, clearly she is not also uh, targeting the wildlife, which is good. So we are sharing an approach in that respect. Doesn't necessarily mean that she's going in a harmony direction. It just means that right now, my actions towards the aliens are not aggressive, and she is okay with that. Okay, we've got some, quite a Rift Canyon series down here, a little bit of fiber. Ha, excellent, another resource pod. Definitely wanna check that out pretty soon. All right, let's take a look at Citadella here. Well, we can definitely do better with worker management. Go ahead and move that guy over here. Uh, again, a little more food. I think we're working kind of the optimal set of tiles right now, I believe. Return to the map. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna come over here. Santo Adrial is expanding very nicely. Um, and what's nice is there's this algae bloom right offshore, should be able to grab that shortly. And uh, two resolin areas, and we've got a worker on site already, so that's going to be pretty solid. Is this the best position? Yeah, this is probably good for this guy. Again, I don't want to push up too much farther. There's miasma on these tiles right here. Um, probably want to be careful in case a nest does spawn. I can pop on that pretty quickly. Um, haven't had any warning about that, though. Uh, training vessel in Santo Adriao. Three turns until the ultrasonic fence is ready. Let's go ahead and we're going to keep pushing up here. So technology-wise, I'm pushing for computing for a couple reasons. One is uh, it will give me access to the missile rover. I know if I'm going to go for a domination victory, having that siege unit is pretty handy, but most especially having a spy agency would be good, and uh, getting some gunboats up and going uh, for the ability to explore out the ocean a little, more, a little more aggressively. Okay, derelict settlement. That's interesting. I do have my expedition module on this explorer, so I'll pick up this resource pod this turn. For some bonus energy, I've got 212. That might be enough to get me a building to start with um, in my in Santo Adriao. Might be able to pick up a clinic right away, which would be pretty, pretty good. Okay, new, uh, new training station, Camp Cascade. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push this guy. Oh, time to pick up, time to pick up one more resource pod. I feel like I should be pretty far south, but this is all still grassland. And this might not be a bad idea to plunk another city here too. Again, there's uh, silica, which can be uh, developed to improve your science production. You've got two coral resources right off the shore here. Uh, that would be good for culture, especially since I'm a little bit slow on the culture game. Another uh, algae, uh, that's going to be good for food, especially if it gets developed with work barge. And three petroleum for resource. That would certainly get an orbital unit off the ground, probably, uh, probably worth picking up. So certainly this is a spot worth expanding to later on. The Firaxite, I, I had started to... Um, Consider the idea of uh, going harmony because there are so many Xenomass resources near where I am. If I do that, picking up this frac site would be handy, mostly as trading uh, fuel for others. Ooh, fantastic. Plus 75 science uh, for completing the quest of gifts from home, which is good. It's going to push me down that computing route a lot farther. Uh, some additional culture from searching the resource pod. I'll take that. And now I can go ahead and move this guy back and start working on that. All right, now, looks like Santo Adriao has expanded. Uh, I am now taking a happiness penalty. You will notice that these cities have a connection through the water that is as a result of the uh, trade depot that's in the city itself. That is what allows you to create the trade route over water. So I do need to get something up. I don't want to linger in unhappiness for too, too long. So I wonder if I would be able to purchase now. It doesn't look like I'm just short for a clinic, 225. Right now I'm at a happiness of uh, minus two, it looks like. So I might want to save up for that, although 
Yeah, we'll see. All right. Let's choose some production here instead. How long would it take me to build a clinic? 19 turns. Well, I feel like I can do better than that. Uh, the vivarium might be good in this case because what happens is I've got a lot of... I'm going to pop back into the world map for a second. This is pretty much desert out here. And um, aside from this algae resource that's close by, don't have too many local stock of food. So that's definitely going to be something to worry about in the not too distant future. Go ahead and we'll expand this guy out a little bit. It's now Santo Adriano is established, it can defend itself a little bit better. Okay, uh, Citadella, the trade vessel. Um, I'm actually going to keep that on that internal route, piping some production back and forth. That will certainly help. Uh, there's no surplus food yet to move around between the two of them. That will make some of these a lot easier. Yeah, see the, the production times drop pretty significantly. We'll go ahead and we will queue up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and queue up a clinic. That will give me plus two health for that, although I will start taking some more unhappiness through population expansion. It won't be too, too bad. Citadella needs a new production project. I think it's time to start preparing to take out those alien nests. I, well, let's see. Trade convoy. Okay, well, let's, let's take I'm sorry, I'm going to pop back into this for a moment. Up here in the top, it tells me I have one of two trade routes currently in use. I probably need to be taking advantage of that trade route, but it is a little bit hairy right now with these aliens uh, running up and down through the environment. But they aren't agitated, so it might be safe for now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push a trade convoy, and then we'll queue up some soldiers. So hopefully we can buy ourselves some, some space and time to get those out. I will be shortly prompted to make a decision, a quest decision, regarding the uh, ultrasonic fence, moving it up um, or pushing out the radius that it affects by one tile, which would take me right to the edge of this alien nest here, which could be pretty handy, or using it to protect my trade route, uh, trade units. So I'm not sure which way we'll go with that yet. It certainly would be nice to sit one tile away from an alien base and pick at the, uh, an alien nest and pick at the things that are in it, but it might be sufficient to uh, have some troops on hand for that as well, too. All right, these guys, we will, I think, well, let's start bringing these guys back around. Let's see, they'll just be able to move there. I could bring them back overland. I, again, I don't want them to pass too close to this, and with all these uh, forests in the intervening area, that's slowing their movement down. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll start bringing these guys back. Okay, and so we can actually explore out a little bit. I want to make sure there isn't anything, any siege worms or any surprises that might come at me uh, if I start agitating the wildlife. Let's uh, check on this explorer real quick down here. Oh, he just got that resource pod, so we're ready to go ahead and next turn. Kavitha Thakar of the Kavithan Protectorate. Thanks us for not shooting aliens. You're very welcome. Still may have to bump you off the planet. Nothing personal. All right, we're ready to, okay, let's see, city connection established. Yes, it is. Time to develop a virtue. Okay, now, a couple of choices here. Might be good to start moving up on might. I'm just two virtues away from getting the synergy bonus um, for tier one, which would be good. Um, tile improvements don't really need to go faster. Uh, I don't think I want to spawn an additional colonist right now. I could go with standardized architecture. That would be pretty good. I'm not, I don't know whether faster unit promotions would be more helpful right now or the idea of getting Santo Adriao up and running sooner. So I feel like if I get Santo Adriao up and running, because it's going to share a lot of the same buildings that are in my capital right now, then um, that might be good. That would give me time to build out an army uh, in Citadella and then stage out from there. So we'll probably do that. Let's go ahead and we will choose uh, standardized architecture. Yeah, I don't, we don't, not pursuing wonders quite yet. So I think we're okay. We're still 17 turns out from computing. That is quite a while away. That does feel a bit, a bit risky. Okay, let's move this explorer up. He's going to start working on his expedition. That'll be 10 turns. Bring the soldier around. He's going to be the first. 
in the uh, in the new army of uh, the defensive army uh, that's going to help protect our, our capital and the surrounding areas. Don't see anything too hostile up here. Okay, so let's count real quick. We've got at least two, four, five, six wolf beetles. We've got this. Uh, we've got this manticore. That's a lot. Um, there's at least one drone running around, which I can't see quite yet, but I haven't seen any siege worms. And so that reassures me a little bit. Okay, um, need to, let's see. How far we're at 234, what can we purchase for here? It would be an old earth relic or an explorer. Might be better to pick up a tile. Might be better to pick up that tile right there, that desert resolute or Let's see, yeah, I think we want to expand first. Although the production would be nice. Well, now we want that for the... So we'll go ahead and we'll buy out that tile. And we're gonna send this guy offshore next turn to start working as a barge on that. Quest decision, all right, let's see. Now that we've completed our ultrasonic fence, okay, so again, we have the choice here between keeping the original design, which will uh, increase the repelling range, or we can reverse the polarity to defend our trade units. Now, right now, let's take a look at the two alien nests of concern for us. They are one, two, three, four, five tiles from Citadella, and one, two, three tiles. So, if we did that, we would potentially put that alien nest entirely within our sphere of control and uh, keep us safe from aliens there. Feels like that would be a pretty good decision. That would also give us a good area to retreat to later on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep the decision to increase the repel range for that. Okay, it needs work orders. Start bringing this guy back. Again, we don't have an ultrasonic fence in San Adriel. Don't want to go too far exploring with that. I don't really want to get into a fist fight with these uh, wolf beetles. So we'll go ahead and we'll scut offshore real quick. Um, go ahead and I'm just gonna have these guys hop over here. Next turn they'll hop up the hill just to take a look. Okay, Daming Sucha also agrees with our approach. This is good. Nobody really wants to aggravate the aliens, including me. At least not yet. We're gonna go ahead and re-embark. Maybe we can maybe we can scoot all the way back to the capital. That would be good. Alright, work barge will start work there. Have these guys pop up to the top of the hill. Okay, I got some more wolf beetles over there. Trade convoy is ready to go. Nearest uh, place is Shackleton, that's good. Need that culture and that science. That'd be pretty handy. Um, although we will need to just start with it. Ooh, look, the nest is cleared out. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Citadel is ready. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start building a bunch of soldiers. Twelve more turns until computing's ready. Okay, let's start bringing these Marines back. These guys don't see anything. We could. Let's see, we could venture up a little bit more. Okay, we see some more aliens up there. Again, lots of resources up this part of the world. Additional Xenomass, that might be another good spot for a city later on. That would, inland, or right on the coast here, oof, good question. That would make it a little bit hard to work, and it is tied right into that, but might not be a bad place for something later on. Okay, Santo Adriel's completed its clinic. Um, it has expanded, but now we're just at minus one health. That's not really the end of the world. Another trade depot doesn't make a difference right now. We're out of range of anybody else we could trade with. Um, and opening up another internal trade route doesn't do us any good. We can only have one trade route between those two cities. I think that means we should probably either, let's see. Yeah, we definitely want the old earth relic. Uh, do we want the old earth relic? Let's see. Yeah, I think we do. I think that would probably be the way to do it. Um, yes, we're at two population right now. It'll give us 
a bit of food to work. I think that would be the best choice right now. start pulling the soldier back a little bit. Again, we don't want the aliens to blunder into us. That wouldn't be very good. Okay, production is finished in Santo Adria. I think it is probably time to start an ultrasonic fence. Well, ultrasonic fence or vivarium. Let's take a look at the tile yields around here. There's a lot of desert, but I'm not quite out there yet. We'll get some food out of that fairly soon. Let's see, that tile is potentially workable for food as well. A little bit less energy, a little more food. That's there for the grassland. Uh, that would be pretty handy as well, too. Uh, there's only, there, there aren't any desert tiles worked by this city yet, so we don't need the vivarium. Oh, we're in Citadella. It's Looking for new production, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose another soldier. All right, so now we need to, since we chose not to protect our trade units from aliens with the ultrasonic fence, we are going to be, need to be a little bit circumspect, but I do know that I can go out here safely, so we will go ahead and do that for right now. The aliens will uh, view clearing out a nest as an aggressive action, so that's something to be aware of for that. Um, I believe strongly that I need to make a decision. Uh, what to do? Well, Miasmic Repulsor, dropping that. Let's see, what's this city's orbital range? Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at our orbital layer. Yeah, even if I got it out to there, it wouldn't be able to clear out all the Miasma from this derelict settlement. Um, so that's probably not the... <sighs> Keep doing that. I need to stop doing that. Um, Let's see. I think I'm going to pick the ultrasonic fence. We know we're probably going to want to have that going sooner rather than later. And that way, if we start aggravating the aliens around there, it's not going to be too, too messy. We'll have these guys fortify up and we'll protect the city. If we do see anything big, we'll pull them back in. That's it. Real quick, I'm going to come down here and see how this guy's going with his expedition. Four more turns till he's done. That's good. He's not in miasma, so I'm not going to lose him while he's off screen. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and we're going to clear out this nest. Get 25 energy for doing so. Let's see. We need to move somewhere. Let's see. There is miasma on that tile, so we'll push to here. So if I move these guys here, they're going to be two tiles away, but two turns. And I see one, two, three wolf beetle packs. Some of those might have been from earlier. We'll withdraw back behind the safety of our, uh, our ultrasonic fence. Yep, there's that drone I was looking at. Now one, two, three. We should still be protected by the ultrasonic fence, but I did know that those guys were there. I'm glad I remembered that. Glad we haven't pushed that out. Okay, so the drones are going to be on top of... Okay, Santo Adria has grown. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the tiles that that city is working. Uh, it's working up that hill tile. That's probably what I would want it to work on right now. Now we could. Let's see, we've got 268 uh, energy. Launching a miasmic repulsor out of the capital might not be a bad idea. Maybe clear out some of those spots. Let's see if we were to let's let's check our, our orbital layer again. So we could put we could easily uh, well no. I think we're gonna be running into our previous there's our uh, solar collector from earlier. If we drop that up there, that would clear out the miasma on the nest itself. Okay. Oh, we did do we did clear that spot out earlier. Okay. Let's 
Let's see. I think the thing to do is probably to pull back here, put a mine up on this hillside. The Marines are, or the soldiers are ready. Don't think I want to push out of that quite yet. We'll have those guys pull fly up. These Marines are ready to go. There's miasma there. There's no miasma there. This will at least help protect the trade route. Uh, let's turn on our trade routes for a moment. Something happened in my... I must have missed my uh, trade unit getting pillaged. Well, now it's personal. Heading right into them would probably not be the greatest thing in the world, but we could get at least a flanking bonus for them. It's a lot of wolf beetles. Let's go ahead and we'll, even though this is in the miasma, that will at least prevent the, the guys from getting double teamed. Got a quest decision. Uh, so we either get plus one energy from trade depots or plus one production. If we are going to pursue a domination strategy, I think we're going to want to go with the production aspect of that. Oh, okay. So that expedition was complete. That was good. Hmm. Well, the good news is that these guys have a promotion coming to them. Bad news is it may be the last promotion they ever get. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Uh, normally, I wouldn't do this, but I really think having this guy act as the linchpin of this line is probably going to be the way to go. Could switch these guys up, but that wouldn't really progress it forward. Oh, dang it. Don't misclick, kids. It's bad. Well, really didn't want to do that. Okay. See, that would be minor defeat. That would pretty much be the end of them if they were to try to try to take that out. Do I have the flanking bonus? Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Don't really want to go. These guys have made their... All right, we're fly up. You're just going to have to do your best. Let's see. Construct a mine in six turns. Uh, let's get this explorer back to the capital. Ah, that annoys me when that happens. Russia, Russia, another soldier. He'll be ready to move up on the next turn. Hopefully these guys will be able to hold out for just a little bit longer. Again, the aliens are only on green aggression, but um, and that will have its that will have its uh, ultrasonic fence ready next turn. Worker's finished his job. We're going to go ahead and we're going to bring him up. Have him start another farm. 
Oh, I didn't know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and embark this turn. Bring him back to the city that way. Trade convoys ready. Um, there are a lot of wolf beetles running around in the backfield right now. I'd feel a lot better if we could do something about that. Santo Adria is ready. I think they're going to start working on a soldier as well. Have these guys push out to their ultrasonic fence range. We're going to bring the explorer all the way back. Oh, geez. Why don't you wait a turn? Okay, take out these guys. That would be good. At least clears out the drone. That makes me happy. Let's see, there's two wolf beetles within range there. Let's have everybody advance up. Hopefully that's gonna work out well. Sleep the trade convoy for another turn. I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. Well, this helps. Okay, so here's what we can do. Let's go ahead and this time, this is what I want to rotate through. Miasma, miasma, miasma. Bring this guy back. Okay. Let's see. He is within three tiles of the city, so we can go ahead and we can give him season promotion because he shouldn't be attacked by anybody. These guys are outside of the city range. Go ahead and let him heal up there. Ready to choose a new research project. Start pursuing our alien biology. Got one more turn until the next Marine's available. Who needs orders? Oh, the trade convoy. Uh, geez, don't want it to be pillaged, but... Marine is in pretty good shape. He can fortify until he heals. Let's go ahead and we're going to bring up another Marine to help out. Okay, we've got a Marine in this city here. Oh, these guys are ready for air promotion. We're going to choose new recruits. Minor victory, minor victory. Oh, it should, would be nice to be able to clear out that nest. It's just gonna be it's gonna be a near run thing. So we'll bring them back here for the time being. It's gonna fortify until he heals. Look at all those wolf beetles. Okay, let's see if we can 
get some things going over here. So spy agency out of Santo Adriel might not be a bad idea. That would at least be able to start working on that. It's a little bit better, better in terms of uh, having more resources available to it. On the other hand, we could start up the military push on that front as well too. And a combat rover, or a, um, sorry, a missile rover would be pretty helpful for clearing out those nests. It'll be a few turns till everything is ready. Yeah, network, that's gonna give me science, but I don't have any boosters for the copper. Yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna start. We're gonna start pushing on the military side of things. A missile rover out of here. Trade vessels or trade units are still going. That's solid. All right. Okay, we're gonna bring up, bring up some more guys, help out. He needs orders. This is the explorer. He's all ready to go. Um, it'd be nice to have a little bit better picture of what's going on or this way, and we could send him north of Shackleton. Take a look at what's going on there. Oh, 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 I'm gonna cancel that. Um, let's see, now, uh, get into playing Tetris with our, our forces here. We can at least get the flanking bonus. Again, we're gonna be close enough inside of the city that we don't need to worry about that. We could push up there, fight these guys. Let's just, we'll hold that end of the line for right now. Fly up a bit. He's completed his work on that side of things. How much would it cost to purchase this tile? That seems like a good investment. Is there miasma on that? Ah, oh, I should have healed him. So next turn, we need to get him out of the way. So we'll just pause him for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up our Marine, or our soldier unit. Somewhere in there, that trade unit got pillaged. I'm sure, it would be nice to find out why. Oh, the Manticores got it. Bugger. Okay. Okay, let's. Guys are in pretty good shape. Pretty sizable defeats. So we won't do that. Those wolf beetles are moderately healthy. There's some on there. Well, we do know they won't attack us next turn, so there's no counterattack coming from that direction. Start constructing a paddock here. Oh, wait. No. We need to move him. Didn't want to do that. And it's recommending a generator. Let's make sure we're inside of our workable range. Uh, we are. Go ahead and plant another farm. Stay alive. Oh. Okay. Uh, there's an opportunity here. We'll go ahead and we'll, I think we'll just stop edging around and we'll wait for the wait for the reinforcements to arrive. You, know, you stay fortify. Two turns until the missile rover's ready. That will certainly help. Three turns until the missile rover's ready here. That will help as well. These guys are in miasma. That doesn't help. Let's go ahead and pull back them up for a second and have them heal up. And you are up here. We'll have that worker heal before he continues. Okay, and 
these soldiers are going to heal up. Now, because there's no miasma within those territories, so even though those aliens are staying on that nest, they're not healing up, and that's helping me out uh, to some extent. Trade vessels ready to go ahead, and now we're starting to move food and production back and forth between our two cities. One more turn till that missile rover's ready there. Two more turns before it's ready in San Andrea. Got quite a mountain range up here on another Xenomass resource. Very interesting. All right, this is now the moment you've all been waiting for. We'll get some serious guns going in here. Let's see, I believe it will be time to build another one of those. No, let's start work on the spy agency. That'll be important. Who needs orders? Okay. Uh, spy seems to be in a bit of a bottleneck up here. Go ahead and we'll start bringing him back down. Check over here. Oh, lots of petroleum. Let's see. Two petroleum there, three petroleum there. Some resolin. wonder what's around the back of this range right here. Interesting spot. Oh, that was unpleasant. So even though those guys are inside of the ultrasonic defense range, um, they are still capable of being attacked by ranged units. Uh, they could push up a little bit there. Let's see, bring up Marines, get the flanking bonus for that. Bring missile rovers around. Let's see what's in the back of here, okay. I'm going to set up these guys, and because of the terrain, they're not able to bombard. I'm going to have to get them up on that hill, which means let me clear out these wolf beetles right here. Although these are wounded. Let's go ahead. rovers will wait for a turn. We need, uh, need some more production here. This is going to end up being my science city. So I could start building the network for that. Trade depot doesn't seem to be anybody within trading range right away. That well, would be helpful uh, to have at least the extra production from that, which would be should be pretty handy to have. Um, I could start building a gunboat and automatically exploring the rest of the world. That might not be a bad choice either. Or I could build another missile rover and, or some marines. So many good choices to make. All right, so now we really need to get this nest cleared out. It's starting to, starting to be annoying. Let's see, who's got, let's see, you are in slightly better shape than this guy here. Next turn. Oh, who's this? Oh, the Kabithan Protectorate. Okay, getting into some planes up there. All right. Ooh, major victory then. Nope, need to get this. Need to start closing in on this. Maybe that'll pull 
pull some pressure off those guys. That was probably a poor decision. I have regrets. Yeah, that was silly. I shouldn't have done that. Let's see. It's recommending constructing a mine on that hill. This guy's done his work right now. Don't think we want to spare him over to that other city. So we'll go ahead and remove him there. We can boost our needed stuff. for promotion. Okay, so these guys are gonna end up in trouble at some point. We'll just push them forward as fast as we can. Just a few more minutes here. Keep exploring around for a little bit longer. Need new production for this city. Do think another worker would not be out of the question at this point. We're at population five. Having tiles up and ready to go would be pretty good. On the other hand, this has gone on for a lot longer than I would have liked it to. Uh, might, need, might need to get some stuff up and running shortly after this. Some additional soldiers. Uh, another network? Hmm. Jeez. I feel, like, I feel like Trade Depot would be the production, although with nobody to trade with, that does present an opportunity lost. Um, Yeah, I, th I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to queue up a worker here. And it needs orders. Oh, I got a worker. Let's go ahead and we'll have him that mine. All right, let's see if we can take these nests. All right, might get there. Bombardment range is going to be ooh nice. Can I sneeze at? You know, as much as I, I really don't want to lose any more soldiers on this operation. Really, 
really suffering here. So that would be a minor victory. Can that clear them out? Doesn't look like it would, would it? I'm going to leave a little bit left, but it would protect those. On the other hand, all right, let's do this. Got to get that nest clear. That's what's most important at this point. There's Ayan. Okay, so Barre is starting to push out a little bit. And we have another ARC city as well, too. It looks like he just re-established that, uh, established that city, too. So I'm, even as I do this, I am painfully aware that I am falling behind the growth curve relative to my neighbors. That is not a comforting thought. Orbit imminent, imminent. So that's that uh, solar collector is getting ready to drop. Oh, and here we go. Marine's going to walk in. Clear that alien nest. That's bought us the time that we need to start really expanding out. Wow, that was painful. I'm sure it was more painful for you to watch. Um, so now what we've done is we've cleared both alien nests. This alien nest is covered in miasma still, so there's the potential that it could respawn at some point in the future. The aliens are now at an orange level of hostility, which means they're going to aggressively uh, seek out our units and attack them. We've lost quite a few uh, trade units and quite a few Marines in the course of this action, which I feel very bad about, but we've now got at least breathing space uh, between our two cities at this point. So this probably is going to wrap up our next Let's Play. Turn 90, we were able to make it about uh, 40 more turns in. I hope you guys uh, I appreciate you uh, tuning in to our, uh, to our live stream today and watching that. Um, if you are interested in more Let's Plays, there's lots of people doing it right now. In fact, if you've got time after this uh, stream, you can go watch Mad Jin 